So in this video I have 1 minus sine x multiplied by 1 plus sine x it has to be equal to cosine squared x. Let's see how to solve this example. So we have basically two ways to do that. If I multiply 1 times 1, 1 times sine x, here I have negative sine times 1 is going to be negative sine. And here I have negative sine times sine is going to be negative sine squared x. So basically this sine x and negative sine x, they cancel out. It's going to be 1 minus sine squared x. As we know, 1 is sine x plus sine squared x plus cosine squared x. So we have minus sine squared x, so the answer would be cosine squared x. That's how it's proven. Second way to do that is, here we have, based on the difference of squares, we have a minus b times a plus b always equals to a squared minus b squared. So I will have, for the first one, I will have y minus sine squared x. So again, as we know, sine 1 minus sine squared x will be equal to cosine squared x.